Welcome everyone to episode 94 of season 20 of Imperium Galactic Survival version 1.8. Uh, today I'm going to go out and um, check out these two small POIs. Uh, they're at least, they're small on the surface. Um, moon outpost there and Assault up north. We get that on the map here. And, uh, still haven't put my base down yet. Because I just wanted to get, get going here today. Let's see what we have on our... Yeah, we should be all right. Ammo and everything. Uh... The big thing is, I don't know how, what these uh, POIs are about. I don't know how large they are on the inside, anyway. I, of course, flew over them when I was mapping out the, uh, the planet. But uh, who knows what's, what's underground. take a look at uh, the ground that it's on. Usually if a POI has a lot of stuff underground, then, uh, you sort of see it on the surface with a large uh, blank area. But uh, we shall see. I have never uh, been to one of these before. there be something there or will there not uh, let's get my uh, weapons reloaded here All right there it is Assault does not have a shield. I don't see any any guns on the outside. There's a uh, a legacy in soldier running around there. It's a nice modernist looking design there. Now you can see by the footprint I don't think there is a lot underground. I mean it's not huge anyway. Sounds like there's uh, cyborgs running around here. Let's peek in the windows. Uh, looks like that's a, a uh, traitor. It's not armed. All right. Let's see what's in here. Ready, just in case. <laughs> oh, my ship killed that guy. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to do that. It's my ship. You understand? Just protecting me. It gets a little overzealous sometimes. There's the core. Got a freely accessible cargo pallet. Don't need any oxygen at the moment. Can I use your shower? 
I got two rads on me. There's much of anything here. There's some cargo containers up there. Yeah, it looks like uh, one of those places that would make a nice little base if you took it over. You're able to get the core out of there. Make a nice little base, starter base. It's got uh, all the amenities you need. It's got a cargo. You know, cargo, it's got a instructor, some storage, a shower, bridge. I think that's uh, really what this place is meant to be. Starter base. Why'd you shoot that poor traitor cyborg? He meant you no harm. Alright, we gotta go down to the moon outpost. Uh, on the way there, I think I'll hit these defenses. Looking at the one we took out. Uh, two episodes ago. You know, the core is right down the center. Those defenses. So it shouldn't be a problem, but it is a little ways off there. Beautiful sunrise coming up here. Pretty pictures. The game has lots of pretty pictures. All right, there's the other defense. We're in daylight, isn't that nice? Early in the morning. Wait a minute, I just flew over a drone. Don't like to leave these drones just flying around on their own. There he is. Guarding a Promethean deposit. All right, taking care of business here. Get our altitude back here. This is a uh, different defense. It's one of those littler ones. With the uh, single gun on top. Well, ion cannon, I believe. ones where you can the core is in the center but just go in through the front door and take care of it take care of that guy first yeah this is one of the uh, smaller defenses Right. 
no problem. defense. We don't have to worry about it. Check this one out. We're on our way down to the moon outpost. We have to eventually get rid of all the Xeraxian POIs on here anyway, so might as well clean them up on the way. small one. started shooting at him. Guns are a little laggy there. bullet sponge. There's another one running around somewhere. Guns are having a hard time killing them. far enough away. Don't have to worry about him. Alright. More goodies. here. Moon outposts. Don't know whether or not I've ever been in one of those or not. K4, it sounds familiar, 848 moon outposts.
might just be one of those um, sort of civilian Xeraxian place like that last one we went to. The basalt. Maybe it has a trader in it or something. Is it armed? radar on the roof. Bedroom. Some goodies on the outside. Another, uh, yeah, this looks just like the uh, basalt, sort of just a place with a, a trader. Unarmed. I'll close my door so you don't get. Don't go outside. My ship will kill you. I'm warning you. My ship has a temper. Don't do it. See, there's a switch there. Sorry I'm hostile, I'm oh, sorry. Sorry I killed your friend. It wasn't me, it was my ship. I just can't control it sometimes. Ship is a temper. Take your weapon. Keep your cabinets open, but you won't let me take a shower. What is your problem? Yeah, well, the core is there. Uh, mm. I think I'll leave it. I'll be magnanimous. Turn off your power. How about that? there. Alright. Good parking job as always. Well, that was nothing to write home about. Let's get rid of that. Anything else of interest? Oh, these large but even that, nothing. It's just a bunch of defenses and a comma ray, which is nothing. There's a outpost. I think that's a real POI. Let's go see about uh, taking that on. Haven't had much action here so far. ways away as well. So I'll just get up to altitude and put her on autopilot and head on over there. Alright, looks like we got here just at dawn. So we won't be completely in the dark here, he says as we fly into the darkness. And what does this guy look like? Oh, uh, 
okay. Ah, uh, this is a strange looking beast because it's, uh... It's got the same design as a monastery. But I think it's more heavily armed. It's got the, these external gun placements. Does not have a shield. Let's see if I can do something with it without getting killed here. Let's see if it gets centered here. Ion cannons on top. Oh, they just woke up. Give me the range, man. Uh, it looks like sentry guns on those uh, external pods. But yeah, it looks like it's based on that. Uh, Monastery. Wonder if the core is in the same place or not. So I recall the core on the monastery was in on the back side here, but I don't remember exactly where. In the center, on the back. Might uh, be worth our while just to uh, poke a few holes here and see what what's up with that. Works really nice against those sentry guys, doesn't it? One hit and boom. That other pillar looks different than all the other ones. Might be one of those uh, places it would be a good idea to send a, a drone in first to have a look around. Hurts to drill a hole all the way through the base. Let's try 
try and see if I can stay far enough away not to trigger any spawnage. Okay, the sun's coming up. Don't need the puco vision. down to the dirt there. There's a spawner. There's a switch. Probably for destroying the core. Yeah, it doesn't look like the core is anywhere near this area. Let's have a little look around before I go inside. Yeah, it's the same design, basically. Some differences. Uh, if there should be a. Well, actually, now they see the dirt there. The uh, monastery has a large basement area. Or is probably up here behind those doors. Hey, I can open doors. Interesting. All right. Yeah, it is sort of based on it. Monastery. It is a little different. If the core is indeed in that room, I might be able to move my hole over a little bit. Uh, let's see if... I've get back in my ship. A lot of spawners down there, trying to avoid personal confrontation there. Let's try poking a hole right here. See what we get on the other side of those doors. there, so... Send in the drone again. Being very sur surgical with this place. Oop. Sentry guns. Let's see what else we got here. Like a living space. Hmm. Switch. And is just waiting to shoot me. Core under there. Yeah under the snake. Let's see how far forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, yeah, four blocks from my new opening. Which puts it pretty much in the center, doesn't it? Yep, there 
here's the snake. Voila. I spoke French. Okay, so it's not exactly in the center because I think there's an odd number of exact centers there where the radar dish was, so it's two blocks forward. Put that in our our memory banks for the next one. I think there's a couple more of these outposts on this planet as well. Yeah, externally it, it's uh, a lot like the monastery. Except the monastery does have a huge basement area. And I think this is just dirt. so familiar. I think I saw some other YouTuber playing through it. I'd been Spanj a long time ago. I don't think it's like a new POI or anything. area underneath here was a secret. So you can get to the core underneath the uh, statue there. You actually go through this rolling door. there. Alright. And, uh, yeah, below, just dirt. Alright. Well, that was a nice little remote courage there. Sending in the drones. Uh, let's see, we've got a listening post. Uh, there's a monastery that I was talking about. I think there are a couple of those as well around here. There's another monastery. Monastery. Yeah, the fuel storage. That's a, that's a big one. And uh, I think... 
Maybe next episode we'll go after that one. Now, let's take our booty home. Alright, home, home again, home again. Sunset, looks like. Yep. Sundown in about a minute. are shooting there seems to always be those uh, raptors running around oh yeah okay. the balmy 84 degrees yeah man but it's a dry heat very pretty Here, pizza's always good. I don't know, do I have any food in here? Yeah, I got some food in, in the wrong place. Seedlings, seedlings. Yeah, we didn't pick up too much on that uh, trip. Enough to make it worthwhile. And uh, fuel and oxygen. Great items. Items to be deconstructed. It's ammo and I'll take the water. All right. It's all put away. I think I uh, think maybe I will go for that fuel duty depot next time around because uh, all those other ones are are uh, small. Well, monastery is pretty good size, but um, I think I can core that from the outside, just sort of like I did the um, outpost. Uh, the core is in a different position, further towards the back. I've done many of those monasteries. Uh, generally, you want it for it from the outside because there's uh, it's not that big on the inside, but it's uh, got lots of uh, Xeraxian scum plus some overseers in the basement uh, chasing you around. So it's not a pleasant experience anyway. But uh, yeah, we got a couple of these large clusters of evil down here. This one, like I said, won't be anything really. Uh, the armory is probably the best POI there. I mean, as far as looting, everything else is uh, just nothing. But over here, we got fuel storage surrounded by some defenses and a bastion down there. So I think we'll head into this neck of the woods. Uh, that defense is a little further further off, so I think I'll just go to this guy here. And we'll take care of this cluster and maybe the bastion as well. Uh, fuel depot, it's not that large of a POI. It doesn't go underground as far as I remember. It's just got a bunch of fuel tanks up on top that explode violently if you hit them wrong. It's easy to do. I won't want to do that. That'll be for the next episode. As always, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again tomorrow.